it's Zena Wardog Princess and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This is part two of my Little Mermaid orders and so the second part has come. I'm wearing my last visits Disney ears because Little Mermaid is so perfect, right? It even has a little fork on the side embroidered, which is cute. Alright, so the first item I got is a mini notebook with pocket in aerial floral. It's 160 college ruled pages and it has an interior pocket. Um, as always, I'm not gonna take the plastic off until I use it, but it does have like that teal edging to it, but it's white pages with lines. And it has, a, has Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian and some of the other um, critters and definitely a lot of flowers, for sure, underwater, under the sea. It's the same on the front and the back and pattern placement for all of the notebooks is exactly the same. Um, I got one for me and one for my niece who love, love, loves Ariel and mermaids in general. So she'll be excited about that and it'll make her happy for school. Since she's starting school in the States for the first time, brand new school, brand new country, she, it's maybe help her settle in a little bit. Get excited about that first day with a new notebook. Anyway, um, I also got a market tote and I generally don't buy these. I mean, I do occasionally, rarely, I have some that I've gotten from way back, but um, this one is just too cute not to. And for, you know, a reusable tote that could be used for so many things, I think it really is a great price and a great way to get it. Now, I kind of regret that I didn't get more than one because, you know, I probably should have got one for my niece uh, or other people. But anyway, this one is mine. <laughs> and inside, you know, they have like these seatbelt strap handles. They're, they're pretty lightweight obviously they're just that robust plastic mesh material or whatever they have an interior pocket it's just a slip and it says disney vera bradley on it it has some of the flowers and a and a starfish and that's it i mean they're they're pretty big you know even the bottom has print on it which is nice but but yeah so i'm just gonna put that in storage i do store them and just lay them flat and i stack them all up in the bag room the next item I got is the Crocs collaboration. So it's kind of a three-way collaboration. It's Vera and Disney and Crocs, if you think about it. So that's kind of cool. And these, I got the sandals, which I'm trying to look at the name of what these were actually called. Um, let's see, the tags. We have the pretty Vera tag. I don't know if this is going to tell me. Yet, yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, but they're the, the slip-in ones because the regular clogs don't really fit my feet properly. So I always go with alternative ones. And these are a great alternative option. These ones are actually, I wear size 10. These are size 11 because size 10 had sold out so fast. But actually the size 11 fits me perfect. So that's a happy accident right there. Um, they do have one gibbets on each croc and it just says crocs. Um, so you could take that off or you can leave it on. Um, I guess for now, I'll just leave it on. They are coming out with a Little Mermaid gibbets from Vera Bradley. It's not out yet. It just says coming soon on the website. I don't know when that's coming, but it's coming. Um, I'm not certain it's needed. Like to me, that's putting stuff on top of stuff. Uh, so it would cover up a pattern that's there. Um, maybe as these wear off or something, maybe I would add gibbets to sort of refresh it. But I've not had that happen with any of my other ones wearing off like that. So anyways, I think I probably won't worry about getting gibbets for these. But the cool part is that you can. They have these holes on them. So you can add gibbets even though it's a sandal and not the clog. So if you're into gibbets, then yay. <laughs> anyways, these are really comfortable. They're um, basic crog. Croc knock. <laughs> They're the same profile on the bottom part as the clogs. Um, but anyway, yeah, Crocs has so many different styles now that, um, yeah, great, great, great. All right. And the last item for this part of my haul is the campus backpack. Um, I do really love the campus backpacks. I have a ton of them. I, I dare not even count them, honestly. Um, but this is another one to add to the Disney park pile. I don't think I'm taking it on this trip. But I might because when I say this trip, I'm leaving in a, about two or three weeks and I'm driving to Virginia, 
You're dropping the dog in the trailer there. My brother's going to watch Kelly. Huh, Kelly? Come here. Up. You want up? Yeah. Kelly loves the farm. She's going to have so much fun there. And um, then I'm going to drive down to Orlando, catch a cruise for a couple weeks. This fits the cruise bill. I'm going to stay in Orlando for a week after the cruise, maybe do some of the parks, probably more universal, but I will definitely hit Disney, so that could make that. Um, but then also, I'll be in this Virginia all summer, and then I'm going to be going back to Orlando in September, October for two weeks. So again, it might still make the trip, even if it doesn't go on all of the cruises. So because I have another cruise in September before Disney, so basically uh, three big options for trips that it could make, and I'm driving for most of that. So I don't have to worry about airlines and whatnot. Anyways, long story short, it may or may not make the trip, but I have a pile of bags that um, are nautical oriented or sea life oriented, and then I have all the Disney stuff and I have all the Harry Potter stuff. I cannot bring all of it. I mean, it's a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And so I have to be a little bit more selective. Yeah, anyways, I digress, sorry. Um, deep into the rabbit hole on the collection and options. But this is a standard campus backpack. When I first pulled it out of the bag, I, I thought it was bigger. I thought it was much bigger than the other campus backpack. So straight away, I went back to the room and I got another campus backpack and compared them side by side. It's not actually much bigger. It's just the way that it's folded because Normally the campus has like the sides are pushed in when it's folded flat and so it's kind of like that So it just looks skinnier this one. It just was like really I don't know if it's because it's recycled cotton. Honestly, it's hard to say but it's just um, it's a little bit flimsier and Also the way it was laid out in the bag was the sides were pushed out instead of tucked in and it doesn't matter either way It lays pretty flat but I think that's why it looked bigger to me at first. It's just because the way it was folded on the sides or not folded as the case may be. Um, but anyway, I got so, so happy with the pattern placement. The, the first thing I see is I look for headless creatures and critters and characters. I don't really have it. Now, Ariel's top of her hair is cut off there, but she is fully intact and has her head. She's good there, she's good there. She's good down here and almost centered. So I've got a really perfect front pocket. Super happy with that. That's really cool. And then I have on the one side, I have Sebastian and some of the other critters and flowers. It's a lovely pocket. On this side, I have a perfect mermaid right on the pocket. And then also a great place to look for me for pattern placement is on the straps. Because as you're walking around and this is on you, this is what people are gonna see first. And I have twin mermaids right on the front of the strap. Even though it's not, you know, they're kind of cut off, but I think that's really, really great. And a variety of flowers. Um, so I'm really, really happy with this pattern placement. Really happy. Um, yeah, so not only do I have one mermaid on the front, by the way, I have two. In case you didn't see, there's one here where she's in a long straight pose. And then this one where she's got her leg, her, her fin bent up. So that's cool. Sebastian's on here a couple times. Here and here again, he's in different poses. You've got Flounder, a couple different ones. Yeah, so nice variety. The only thing that's really cut off, cut off, is I have a mermaid tail here without a mermaid. But if I'm gonna have one piece and not the rest, that would probably be the piece because it almost just looks like seaweed or something. Yeah, not obvious, headless. So yay for pattern placement. Let's look at the campus backpack. You have front pocket, you have main front pocket, you have the main pocket, you have a tech pocket, and then on the back you have a side pocket, and you have two cargo pockets, one on each side. You've got nicely ergonomic padded straps. These are not meshed, um, but still, I mean, it's cotton, so it's fairly breathable. And then the back, it has quilting and padding um, as well. So you have the quilting, so you have some air channels, and then you have a nice trolley sleeve right there. Um, it does not have a chest strap, doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, great bag, great bag for parks, for school, for just about anything. Um, so let's start at the back pocket right here and go forward. So it's a nice side zip pocket. 
if you're in the parks or whatnot, this is a great place to put your phone or your wallet. You know, it's up against your body, so it's safe and less pickpocketable. Not totally um, pickpocket proof, but definitely better. And the pocket goes from here to here, so it's it's a big, wide thing all the way across the middle of that bag, and it does go all the way. Yeah. And then these are great for water bottles. Um, you can put your phone there, obviously. You can put other things there. Um, working our way forwards, you've got the tech pouch, which actually, I don't know why, things like this always make me wonder. Like symmetry, right? Either it goes down the side or it's, you know, top half, you know, going diagonal, corner to corner. But this one starts way up here on this side and ends way down here on this side. So why is that zipper not you know, end to end, or I just don't understand like why that particular thing. Now, the point is that it goes around at least two sides so that you can really get in there. You don't need a significant amount of access, but just easy access putting the computer or laptop or whatever inside. Both sides are padded and it's a nylon, teal, um, VD diamond. Or, Anyways, not critiquing it, just in my head, I'm like, why? Why is it not even? Like, take the, the whole zipper and just shift it, and now it's centered. I don't know. That's the way my brain works. Um, all right, so main pocket, you open this up, and you have two elastic mesh pockets on the upper half. There's no pockets on the front, no pockets on the bottom, but let's look at the space. This is a big backpack. And the, another perfect pattern placement with Ariel right there in the middle of the bottom. Yeah, not that you're going to be seeing the bottom a lot, but there she is. Um, yay. And then to fold it, um, I generally let them fold right down the middle, and so they lay pretty flat for storage, and I just stack them all up on the shelf. Um, yeah, so that's the main pocket. Then you have the um, organized pocket. And I like that it comes all the way up and around and really opens up so you can get down into this pocket. It does have its own space as well. So you have uh, about one and a half finger widths of gusset to it. And you can see it a little bit on the side right here between the seams. So not quite two fingers, but you have a bit of space. Perfect for pouches or loose items just down in the bottom. In this upper part, you have a clear ID, you have a slip and a slip on the other side, you have a small slip, three pen slots, and this one's pretty wide, so you could fit like a normal highlighter in there, and then you have a big slip behind. So two big slips, two smaller slips, and then three slots for pen varieties, fat pen, skinny pen, whatever. Definitely a good pocket. And then this front pocket, this is where I put my phone because that's my quick access item, you know, or, and it's still secure. Um, it depends on what I'm doing with the bag, if I'm carrying it around for a park or a hike or whatever that changes where I put things. But so my phone is either here or in this back pocket, but really nice, big, just front panel pocket. Now let's go back to the main pocket real quick because I did forget to kind of talk about or let you really see this interior pattern. So you've got Aerial Floral on the outside and Aerial Floral Ditsy on the inside. And the Ditsy does not have any mermaids in it but it does have Sebastian and Flounder and all the, the other little dancing, singing, musical fishies and whatnot. And still has, you know, seaweed and flowers all over the place. So very lovely interior, exterior coordination. They match colors and obviously style really well. So when you see them side by side, they're definitely different, but they definitely go. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, that is all I have for this haul. And I do hopefully have one more haul piece coming, part three, which will be the um, little treasure chest, the blanket, the aerial one, and the clamshell thing. So those are on a phone order for Locate. They haven't restocked yet. I don't know if they're going to restock those items, but I have heard from more than one source there may be a restock on some of the Little Mermaid. And uh, they would be smart to do so because it has sold out like wildfire and um, I think it will continue to do so. So there you go. Hopefully they'll come back with all those things and that order will get fulfilled 
haven't received any cancellations, so I'm assuming it's going through, um, but we shall see. Anyway, all right, well, that's it for this one. Bye for now. Have a great week. Happy Monday.